Jackson has sold $625 million in records alone for the 1980s. If you figure in concerts, merchandise, and other holdings, a good guess would put him over a billion dollars. singer, dancer, musician, choreographer, composer, and performer. And I hope I didn't leave anything out. But we're here today really to highlight another of your accomplishments, which, are, which is your outstanding contribution to the video arts. Throughout the 80s, your work has expanded the art form. You're not afraid to tell a story, to take risks, to visually stimulate the audience, and of course, to give all those dancers a paycheck. I remember the excitement in 82 when Billy Jean broke. Then you followed that a few months later with Beat It. People everywhere were glued to their sets watching you on MTV. And with each passing video project, you've kept the excitement going. So on behalf of MTV and our audience, I'm thrilled to present you, the biggest selling recording artist of all time, with the award for MTV's Video Vanguard of the Decade. We can't wait to see what you have planned for us in the 90s. First, I'd like to thank... Um... Could you lift that up, please? First, I'd like to thank. Um, <laughs> you said Eddie, pull it up like I was working for him.
And I started to do it too. I was like, yes, Mike. Wait, what am I doing? <laughs> First, I'd like to thank um, God who makes all things possible. I'd like to thank my mother and father, Catherine and Joseph Jackson. I'd like to thank <laughs> Barry Gordy, who gave me my first professional start in show business. And the Epic family, Walter Yetnikoff, Larry Stesso, Glenn Brunman, Frank DeLeo, Quincy Jones, and Bruce Wadin. I love you. And the public, thank you. <laughs>